and welcome back to the channel so on this video we're going to go back to riding the grizzly today i haven't ridden it for a couple of weeks now since i got the new bike so uh it's time to take it out for a ride guess it turn it on here and uh get my gloves on here first thing I noticed right off the bat after not riding this for a couple of weeks is how much heavier this bike is uh, compared to the other compared to the uh, to the uh, graffiti boy that's a different uh, this, the brakes, everything is different. You know, I'm used to the regen brake now after riding for a couple of weeks. First thing you notice too, if, while watching the video, I'm sure you're hearing the motors or motor. I'm just running the rear motor at the moment, but I'm sure you can hear that. can certainly feel the weight difference so the uh, graffiti runs in at about I think it's 62 pounds without batteries and then the batteries are 8.8 .8 pounds each so that brings it to around 80 pounds we could round it off to about 80 pounds whereas the Grizzly here is 105 but since I put the E Huntsman tires on there they weigh more than the stock tires, quite a bit more. They make, they make the bike closer to uh, 110 pounds. So that's a good uh, 30 pounds more than the uh, graffiti. And that's, you can notice that weight for sure. And you know, something else I noticed, and I'm, this isn't really the comparison ride. I'm just noticing this. I will do a, a more uh, deeper comparison in the future, but one thing I am noticing is that this bike, even though it has a rear suspension, doesn't feel to me as smooth as the, uh, the graffiti. Like I can feel the bumps in the rear it seems like more than and this has got a rear suspension more than the uh, graffiti and uh, that's kind of weird that's a surprise to me one thing I do have on this bike that I'm gonna have to get on the other bike for sure is a uh, mirror at some point I'm not too worried about it right now because I haven't been doing too much uh, distant riding, but uh, when we get into the nicer weather, I will be for sure. Try to get across really quick. Hopefully you're able to hear me okay. There is a bit of a wind out here. It's a coolish day uh, today, but I'm not exactly sure what the temperature is at the moment, but it doesn't feel like it's, um, I don't know if it's even over 40 degrees. I felt just felt the raindrop as well, so. But this uh, grizzly here, when I took it out, 
because I had it inside the house since I when I took it out here before I hopped on it there I could feel the weight it's heavier and it's taller and in the near future I am going to do a uh, video where I have the two bikes side by side talking about them and uh, pointing some a few things out I don't really want to do a review yet on the uh, on the graffiti because I haven't ridden it long enough and done enough on it yet to know when I did the first review on the Grizzly here I I wrote it for a good four months before I did a review uh, and I got a good feel for the bike I wanted to turn there, but I didn't get in that lane, so this, uh, this is a bad part of this road, is uh, the bike lane ends right there, I and mean, you gotta be, create your own bike lane type of deal. But I'm gonna turn around when I get a chance here at this driveway here. I wanted to turn at that light, and I didn't get in the lane. I was concentrating on talking, and now, concentrating on what I'm I'm doing riding so uh, we'll let these uh, cars go by but this bike is certainly built like a tank and I can feel it I can feel that weight 30 pounds is a lot of difference 80 pounds for the uh, for the graffiti is actually a pretty good not a bad weight really considering you know with two batteries uh, if you take the one battery out and you only have one battery, it's only about 71 pounds, so not bad. You know, that's that's about pretty much the same as my Rad Rover. It runs at 68 pounds, so pretty close right there. sure how many folks out there have both the graffiti and the grizzly but if you do have both bikes and you've had a chance to ride your graffiti enough to um, to maybe uh, give a few views on what you think what do you think if you have both bikes of the two bikes like which one do you like some things about one and some about the other kind of thing or is there one that stands out to you over the other you can leave a comment in the comments below and uh, I'd be interested in, interested to hear what others think if they've had both bikes which one uh, you know, is it, do they have a preference of one over the other I have I have thoughts on both bikes already but I want to wait like I say, I want to do a little more on the gris or on the graffiti. I've pretty much done everything on the uh, on this bike here, so uh, I don't need to do any more uh, trying to figure out this bike. But the other bike, I, I still haven't done like the hill hill climbing tests. I haven't done uh, the speed test. I did the one, but I. It's not really, it may not be uh, totally accurate, but uh, the speed that I was getting off of uh, 
the graffiti would be similar to what you get on the Grizzly. But this bike here, I just call it a tank. It's built like a tank. It feels like you're driving a tank sometimes. And um, I'm sure a lot of the weight uh, difference is to do with, well, I, I shouldn't say that, I guess, because the other bike has two batteries as well. But I was going to say having the two batteries set up and having the two motors, but the other bike has two batteries as well. Although one battery on here is 20 amp hour and 115, whereas they're both 17.5 on the uh, on the uh, graffiti. So that bike has a different that bike has a different uh, setup of batteries, but. Yeah, it's got that cold feel today with that wind. Even though I think the temperature is around 40 degrees, I think that wind's gonna make it feel quite a bit colder. And it's funny how that works because for me, I can go out on a day that's 30 degrees for a quick ride, you know, a little 15, 20 minute ride or so. And then you go out on another day like today that's maybe 40 degrees, but with a wind going, um, even though the wind may make it feel like 30, the same as, you know, the, uh, the day you go out without wind, it always feels colder. That wind, it always, it always gets you. Or me, I should say. I don't know if it affects you, but that's, that's the one thing that I don't like, I guess, if you, uh, you know, if you could take one thing away besides ice, ice is not good to ride in. Snow, yes, but the ice is, that's not my favorite thing to ride in. And also, uh, I better hurry up and get in this. I'm gonna go straight ahead here. Oh, the ice, ice is the worst. The wind I don't like, and then the other thing would be when it's raining and it's a, a driving rain with the wind. That's not so much fun either because you get the rain right in the eyes if you don't have eye protection. That's why it's always best to have eye protection on. You probably should have eye protection anyway, and I'm not doing it myself. And here I am uh, suggesting we uh, protect our eyes, but uh, and I'm not doing that at the moment. And the reason why I say that is because. It seems to happen more in the summer, of course, but you get bugs too. I don't know how many times I've gotten a bug in my eye and um, that's dangerous, you know, because unless you can get that bug out of there while you're riding, which it's hard to, uh, to do that, you know, you're distracted with that bug in your eye kind of deal. And, um, and that's no fun, so it's probably a good thing to wear some kind of eye protection, whether it's some kind of a, like sunglasses or your regular glasses or some kind of goggles, something like a visor. Um, see, for a lot of the time I was in my old videos, if you've seen any from the past, uh, a lot of times I would get complaints on my audio because uh, two things, the bike is, when you get this bike moving pretty good, especially with both motors, it really has the whiny sound, you know, um, from the uh, uh, geared motor, hub motors on the Grizzly. Whereas the Graffiti doesn't have that. But anyway, if you get that going, and then you also get the motorcycle helmet that I would wear, which I really like, I still have the motorcycle helmet, I like wearing that, but the downside is um, it's harder to hear me through the helmet uh, unless I pop open the visor, which I did sometimes, but in the sun, it was nice having that uh, visor on and also for the bugs. Um, it kept the bugs away, you know, too, so. Anyway, uh, I guess uh, I should probably get 
a kind of like a microphone set up inside the helmet then I can wear the bike helmet again but the other thing about the bike helmet though is it can get warm in there on a hot day but it protects you for sure it's a the helmet I have is a DOT uh, approved helmet it uh, if you're gonna ride at higher uh, speeds which I have been known to do on the Grizzly here and um, I mean yeah I like to ride fast sometimes once in a while you know uh, I don't have to get out there all the time and do 30 miles an hour or 35 miles an hour but you know what once in a while you kind of feel like the bike just wants to go you know and, and so you just kind of like air it out I guess as, you, as they say it's kind of nice though to uh, if you're in an area that you can do that and just kind of let it go once in a while you know felt a little bit strange to me first uh, getting on and riding the bike here but the Grizzly but now that I'm going I'm getting the feel again but it, after not riding it for a couple of weeks you know uh, and riding another bike the whole time the the graffiti then um, yeah it feels uh, a little strange at first you know I think it's kind of like when you're uh, away from work on a vacation week or two weeks and then it's time to go back to work, you know, and then it, it takes you a little bit to get used to it again kind of deal, you know, and uh, kind of the same with this bike. I want to make a turn up here, but. gonna let these cars go by here first you can see the flag straight ahead there blowing it is uh, windy out today so We're, we are gonna get some pretty cold temperatures uh, coming in here uh, for us anyway uh, temperatures I saw one overnight coming up of 18 degrees and a daytime high very low possibly very low 30s with if there's any wind, I don't know if there's going to be wind with it, but if there's any wind at all, that might be uh, pretty darn chilly. <clears throat> one thing I do like about this bike, <clears throat> well, there's more than one thing, but one thing that now looking at it is I like this display. I think this bike has as good a display as you're going to find. <clears throat> on an e-bike and uh, let this car go here it's colored and I can see everything fine I can see the battery the batteries at currently at 92% And I think it shows up well on the camera because when I notice, when I've ridden the graffiti and then I play back the video, you know, when I'm into the editing portion, I'm noticing that it is harder to see that uh, display compared to this one. I mean, this one's colored. And just nice I mean too bad they wouldn't make all bikes with the same uh, display I know it might get boring but make it like this one this one for me is two thumbs up I like it I don't know if you're a big fan of large displays but I know they take up a lot of room on your uh, handlebars but I actually wouldn't mind this display being just a little bit bigger. I mean, I can see everything just fine though, but just a little bit bigger and maybe they can have more stuff on there without having to click through to find it, you know. But uh, but I, I like it. 
this is uh, my favorite display and you can see right under the uh, right under the uh, speedometer or the speedometer part uh, the wattage and I'm only running one motor at the time and uh, at this time uh, and I'm running around 600 and something watts it was uh, right reading but but during this ride you did hit, see me hit the switch there a few times when I was going uphill or going through intersection I don't do it off the hop because if you're not familiar with the Grizzly and you're just first time uh, viewing this uh, bike has if you uh, start out with either both motors on or just the front motor the front wheel will spin out on you uh, I think it's because there's no uh, not much weight on the front and so it it's, it's light at that end and so it doesn't have traction and so it will tend to spin out so what I usually do is get going five or six or seven miles per hour you know get a little bit of a start and then kick it in and that's what I do but I'm gonna go this way I was gonna turn but you know I was just thinking that it's nice to get this bike out for a change you know just to be different but uh some people don't have that luxury right you only only have one bike or maybe you don't even have a bike you're still contemplating which one to get uh, you're not sure which bike to buy and maybe you're in an area where heck you can't even ride it yet you know you're socked in with cold snow and and uh, whatever else mother nature is feeding you but hopefully uh, that'll turn pretty quick here as we get close to uh, we're almost into the month of March so but it's nice to have three bikes right now that I have that I can pull out and ride at any time But every bike I have is different. Like they all have a different feel. There's none that that are the same. Like some people may say, well, isn't the Grizzly the same as the Graffiti? No, they're not. And um, it's kind of hard to explain, but I will do my best on a future video um, talking about comparisons. And uh, And the Rad Rover that I have is different still. It's another different different bike, you know. If you just want simply a pedal bike, totally pedal, and you're not going to worry about throttling, and you're not having to go up monster hills or anything, the Rad Rover might be uh, the bike for you if you like that style of bike. If you want to do, I like doing both. Okay, so I like pedaling and throttling it it depends on where I'm at and uh, sometimes how I'm feeling like today I just worked I came home from work and uh, hopped on the bike and uh, wanted to shoot a video this afternoon so um, I'm not pedaling at the moment um, I'll say that but I do like pedaling and I especially like pedaling when I'm in bike path you know with other folks that are on their bikes or uh, pedestrians that are walking uh, or if I'm riding with someone else who is pedaling as well then I tend to pedal along with them too but also sometimes I do both like I'll pedal for a while then I'll throttle then I'll pedal then I'll throttle kind of thing I've done that before as well but this bike here you can definitely pedal the Grizzly has a, a seven gear shifter and and uh, six uh, pedal assist levels so you can definitely pedal this one but I think my favorite one to pedal if you're just gonna pedal is uh, the Rad Rover I really like that one if you're just gonna pedal you can throttle that one as well um, just throttle that one as well but just for pedaling I like the the positioning of that one and just the uh, overall feel um, and it's lightweight 
uh, that plays a lot too uh, into it if you keep it on a low pedal assist I like riding that one at pedal assist 3 all right well that's going to do it for another video on the channel thank you for coming along with me and uh, getting out the grizzly um, after not riding it for a couple of weeks if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the uh, to the channel hit the subscribe button and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that uh, notification bell to be notified and if you've got a comment on this video or any other videos that I've done on the channel uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below I do my best to get to each and every uh, comment and uh, don't forget as well we've got a lot of videos on the channel now I think around it might be a little more than this now I think we've passed 160 videos now all together on the channel and climbing uh, so uh, if you haven't seen any from the past uh, check some of those out there might be uh, some of interest to you I've done a few reviews on bikes I've done some rides a few rides with friends and uh, hopefully this summer uh, we get into, into some more uh, riding with others and uh, maybe even doing a group ride uh, down the line uh, I want to get uh, get involved in that a little bit if I can if we've got some others in this area that want to uh, join us for a group ride I just don't want to be the one organizing it because I got enough on my plate as it is but I certainly do want to uh, join in and go for the ride if I'm available and uh, and take you guys along too and uh, record it and uh, and put it up for all to see so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care